what is up guys it's been a while um so today i wanted to make a video about something that i've wanted to make a video about for a while now it's about the spoon theory i've always kind of had to deal with this since being diagnosed with ulcerative colitis but i feel like it's become even more relevant in my life in the last couple months because i got a concussion so I've kind of been dealing with the side effects of a concussion as well as ulcerative colitis at the same time and it's just a little bit overwhelming. I feel like the spoon theory just kind of helps explain to someone else how it feels to live with a disability or an illness. So when I first got diagnosed with colitis, I joined some Instagram groups or some forums and just like communities where you help each other and you give each other give each other tips and tricks and stuff so one of the things that I noticed or was people using the words spoon theory or spoony or something and I was just like what is this and I don't really understand so I found out it's actually a metaphor in a way to show how much energy you wake up with in the day and how much you can afford to expend that day. And I feel like this is a great tool or theory you can use for anyone that has a disability or an illness to try to explain to a healthy person what it might be like to live in your shoes for a day or really how much effort goes into just get making it through the day compared to someone who doesn't live with this kind of disability. So spoon theory is basically you wake up and you wake up with a certain number of spoons. So the more spoons you wake up with, the easier little tasks throughout the day will be. And the less spoons you wake up with, um, the harder these tasks will be. So say you woke up with 30 spoons one day, getting up, getting dressed, making breakfast might not seem too difficult, but you still have to kind of pick and choose what you want to do throughout the day. Rather, if you woke up with maybe 10 or five spoons on a really bad day, getting out of bed might be so difficult. Making breakfast might be so difficult. You might have to skip breakfast. You might have to skip taking a shower. You might have to save those spoons for getting to work. So because I've had ulcerative colitis for about two years now, I've gotten used to waking up with a certain number of spoons. So before I was diagnosed, I woke up every day feeling limitless. Um, I didn't have to kind of pick and choose what I wanted to do. And since getting ulcerative colitis, I kind of wake up every day realizing I might not have all the energy that I used to. So pick and choose your tasks wisely. Um, make time for yourself and learn to kind of say no to things, which is something new that I have to work on and I'm still working on. But since getting this concussion two months ago, I feel like I've been waking up with even less spoons and it's just very difficult and very frustrating and something that's very hard for me to get used to, especially since um, not being able to work as much and do as much as I want to do and see all the people that I want to see. I hate feeling left out. I hate feeling on people. It's just like, it's something very difficult to get used to. But I feel like once you start to understand this theory, it might get a little bit easier for you to get through your day. So I'm going to try to explain this theory with using yesterday, my day yesterday as an example. So let's say yesterday I woke up feeling generally good. I'd say maybe I woke up with 30 spoons. So I had a bit of a headache when I woke up, minor headache. Um, let's say I used one spoon to cope with that headache. And I used another spoon to get out of bed. I used another spoon to make breakfast. And I used another spoon to brush my teeth. I used another spoon to go to the bathroom. And I used another spoon to get dressed. So because I have a concussion, I'm trying to get the blood flow pump into my brain, so I'm trying to do 20 minutes of exercise a day. Um, my boyfriend and I decided that we would go for a walk. He needed to get his license plate renewed, so we would walk to the service Ontario, which is about 20 minutes away. But it was a really rainy day yesterday, so just the fact that it was raining and I had to make a conscious effort to stay dry and wear the appropriate clothes to walk outside for 20 minutes in the rain, 
I would say took a couple spoons out of me. I enjoyed the walk. It was a nice day other than the rain. It was warm. I'd say the actual walk took three spoons for me. Uh, by the time I get to Service Ontario, I'm not feeling that great. So I assume maybe I'm hungry, thirsty, something. So we stopped to grab lunch and my boyfriend got a burger and milkshake and I got a waffle with chocolate chips and a bowl of fruit and naturally I had to drink some of his milkshake knowing that there would be consequences to follow since I'm off of dairy and most sugars so waffle and chocolate chips was just not a great idea from the start. After we finished lunch I wasn't feeling any better. Maybe I was feeling worse. <laughs> Even though I had still like half my spoons left for the day, I feel like I was using the last few just to walk home. And by the time I got home, I obviously wasn't feeling great because of the food I ate. And I would say that I used about three or four more of my spoons just to deal with my stomach hurting and just feeling nauseous from the concussion. So I know I'm coming to the end of my spoon supply and I'm only halfway through the day. And I know I have to work this photo shoot later on today. So I'm trying to plan out what I can do how many spoons I have left and what I might have to skip doing in order to make it to work, do my job, come home, have dinner, and get ready for bed. So I feel like I need at least five spoons to cover a three hour photo shoot and I know I need at least one spoon to get there, at least one spoon to get back, one spoon to pack my camera bag, one spoon to make dinner, one spoon to like get ready and look presentable. Luckily, my boyfriend offers to drive me there and back, and this saves me two spoons and gives me some time to take a bath and take a nap in hopes of waking up with a few more spoons in order to finish my day. So I wake up from my nap and I feel like I have maybe five extra spoons for the day. So I get out of bed, I pack my bags, I skip doing my makeup, I skip doing my hair, I just throw it in a bun, I don't have time for dinner, and I get to the photo shoot. I do some photos, I do some editing. I've used my five spoons there and my boyfriend comes to pick me up. I get home, I make a light dinner, I clean up my dinner and I decide to watch a TV show before bed with my boyfriend and I get ready for bed. So that was all my spins for the day. If you asked me to do one more thing, there's no way I would be able to do it. It's so crazy how 30 spoons can disappear so quickly in one day and the fact that I had to skip doing a lot of things that I wanted to do. Waking up with a number of spoons is completely random every single day. Some days I wake up with more spoons than I do other days, um, but I do find that when I generally eat healthier, drink more water, I do wake up with some more spoons than I would have if I wasn't being as conscious of a healthy lifestyle. So having both a concussion and ulcerative colitis, I really do have to pick and choose what I want to do during the day. And it's something I'm still getting used to. I hate um, saying no to people. I hate um, not being able to work. I hate flaking on people last minute. But I really don't have spoons that I can waste. You really need to make sure that you save some of those spoons for yourself. I can't stress how important it is to take care of yourself. I just woke up and I filmed this video and I feel like I've used so many spoons already, I think I need to take a nap. But I really hope that if you didn't know about spoon theory before, you can relate to spoon theory. It might be able to help you explain to your friends and family who might not understand what you're going through. And if you had heard about spoon theory before, hopefully you can relate to me and know that you're not alone. You don't have to be perfect. Take care of yourself. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I love you guys.